What's up everyone, Daniel here and tonight, almost morning, I'm going to show you how to get the best HDR and SDR settings in Hogwarts Legacy for any TV and monitor like LG, Samsung and Gigabyte. And I said it because there are a few things that if you learn, you can get the best HDR settings automatically on any screen that you are using only with following a few steps. The good news is I'm going to show you the easiest way to find those settings. I'm so excited about it, so let's get into it. First, the game uses HDR from system level calibration and everything will change if you change PS5's HDR settings. I tested it a few times with different HDR settings from the console and I had different output in the game every time. By maxing levels 1 and 2 on PS5 and breaking level 3 to the maximum, it did give me a white point which is peak brightness around 6846 nits, which is the maximum peak brightness of this game, and a black point which is the darkness of the darkest areas and usually should be 0 as I ruined it 0 0.937, which makes dark spots look grey. The second time I adjusted the PS5's HDR settings correctly, it gave me the best results. Peak brightness was 554 nits, similar to my monitor's max brightness, and the black level was zero, which made black areas black and no rays in them. As I tested these settings, they actually tweaked anything further from the console. I did it a few times and white point on 1000, 3000, 5000, 6000, that's the maximum you can set from the game itself. And I found these results. In 1000, max CLL is around 976 nits. In 3000, it's around 2650 nits. In 5000, it's around 4000 nits and in 6000 it's about 4694 nits. However, when we had PS5 on maximum brightness, it could reach up to 6846 nits. So if you have a TV that can get this bright, it will be still fine and look okay on your TV. But which number should you use? Should you tweak these settings? I'm going to show you what to do. If you follow step by step, you will get the best results. My monitor has an HDR brightness of around 520 and by the correct PS5 settings, it did give me 554 nits. It is a little bit higher than what my monitor supports, but I will show you how to fix it too. Still, it will not ruin the details in highlights. It is almost acceptable. So the best way to get the perfect quality in Hogwarts Legacy is to follow these steps. Step 1. Room and TV brightness. I recommend playing HDR games like this in a low light room with low brightness, so you can adjust the brightness of everything in your room for example turn off the lights and by the way i'm not gonna do it right now and then when you have the perfect lighting in your room you can go after changing hdr or any other settings for the game and the console as i mentioned this game will give you the best quality if you set up the ps5 hdr settings correctly and what is the correct way of adjusting hdr on ps5 as you saw, I got the closest value by default to my monitor output and no black level rays. So if you want to get the best, do it exactly as I do. After the room brightness, adjust the TV brightness level to the level that you usually use in that situation. Go to the PS5 settings, screen and video and in color section choose HDR on when supported and select adjust HDR. In step 1 of 3, first make it darker to make sure you can see the sun, then go brighter one step at a time until it's barely visible. Then go one step even higher so you don't see the sun anymore. Step 2 of 3, please do the same thing step by step until you blend the sun into the background and won't see it anymore. In step 3 of 3, go to the darkest and make it zero steps. I used to tell you to do it differently but I was mistaken. I'm so sorry. Just, just make it as dark as possible. Step 3 of 3, make it zero. So this way you won't get any black level rays at least for this game. Step 3, game HDR settings. Open the game on your console and go to the game settings. In image calibration, ensure the HDR black point is on zero. If you did the exact calibration like me in step 3 of 3, it would be on zero automatically. 
If it's not for any reason, just make it zero. As I told you, adjusting it on PS5 might make very little clipping as the PS5 steps are a bit big. My monitor is 520 nits, but the game gives me 554 nits. It is okay to leave it on automatic and like this. After calibrating the room brightness and the PS5 settings, but if you want to be even more calibrated and you want to be more specific, try HDR white point and make it one step lower. For example, I have 552 and I go one step lower to 529. As I tested this on my PC, this time my HDR peak brightness was 525 nits ideally close to my monitor which is 520 nits however you usually don't need to do this usually this little gap won't cause any issues for you but if you like to do it the decision is yours now what about hdr brightness this slider controls the overall exposure in the game by that i mean it makes both dark and bright areas affected it can make your picture under exposure or overexposed which isn't recommended at all i recommend keeping it on default 25 25 is the best value for this one of course it's technically the best value if you like something else you are free to try user interface brightness this will control the brightness of menus maps and other stuff it's a personal choice i'd rather to be at the lowest and if you have an OLED, it's better to keep it at the lowest value because sometimes these menus and all the stuff are static and as brighter as you make them it will cause burn in issues with your OLED. It's not that fast, but yeah, in long term, you might get some issues because of very high brightness in HUD. Step 4. TV Dynamic Tone Mapping Contrast Enhancer HGIG The game already suggests you use HGIG or Disable Dynamic Tone Mapping, and as I tested it on my Samsung TV, I agree that you must keep Dynamic Tone Mapping off and use HGIG. In my Samsung TV, I have an option Contrast Enhancer, which works similarly to DTM in LG TVs. When I have it off, it's like HGIG. When it's on low, it's like Dynamic Tone Mapping off, and when it's on high, it's like dynamic tone mapping on i can't show you the exact difference here due to camera limitations but as far as i tested use either hgig or dynamic tone mapping off and for samsung contrast enhancer off about st2084 brightness it is still acceptable to take it up to two it will not ruin the highlights if your tv isn't bright enough in hdr but i recommend keeping that on zero as well but what about sdr should you use sdr in this game let's have a look in sdr you will be so limited this game still looks fine by default settings still your only option on sdr is a brightness slider which changes gamma and any adjustment would either lead to a washed out bright picture or losing details in shadows i would recommend keeping it on default if for any reason you need to use it but the contrast in hdr is much better peak brightness is much higher and they can't get bright in sdr the picture quality is fine but if you are thinking about it should i play on sdr or hdr the answer is definitely playing on hdr if your tv is terrible and has very low brightness on hdr maybe in that case using sdr will give you higher brightness and that could be better but in most cases hdr is preferred in this side by side comparison you can see how much the difference is between contrast and peak brightness on hdr versus sdr i use the same camera and the same level of brightness on the monitor but note that this isn't a good thing to compare it from my camera always check your tv and see what looks better in your unit this game has much more to talk about like performance modes effects audio dynamic range and 3d audio for pulse 3d with eq on the ps5 i will cover all of them soon in the following videos that i will publish so make sure to subscribe from the card that i put it here on the screen so you will not miss the next video as soon as i will make those videos i will put them here and maybe here or maybe also here on my face as well so <laughs> Stay tuned and keep watching the next videos if you like to get more info for any other settings. Thank you so much for watching.